Hello, Matt with Mrs. O here. I'm Ophelia Orate, principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Our lessons for today is sum of arithmetic sequences. The first problem is, what is the sum of the first 100 positive odd numbers? A, 1,000, B, 4,000, C, 5,000, or D, 10,000. Now, if we have uh, numbers from 1 to 10, how many are odd and how many are even? 5 are odd, 5 are even. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 are odd, so there are 5 odd. And then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 are even. 5 odd, 5 even from 1 to 10. So from 1 to 20, how many are odd? 10. How many are even? 10. So. If we have the first 100 positive odd numbers, we will be considering numbers from 1 to 200. If you have 1 to 200, 100 here are even numbers and 100 are odd numbers. Therefore, if we consider numbers from 1 to 200, what is the smallest odd? It is 1. What is the largest odd from 1 to 200? It's 199. What's the next one? Next lower, it's 3. This is 197. Then next is 5, 195, and so on and so forth. Now, if you're going to add this, what do you notice? You're getting a 200. 200, 200, and so on. So therefore, we can take a shortcut. Each pair gives us 200. Multiply by how many pairs are there if we have the first 100 positive odd. So there are 50 pairs. So multiply this by 50. We get 1, 2, 3, one, two, three zeros. Five times two is ten. The answer is ten thousand. Or you can also use the sum S of n of an arithmetic sequence, which gives us S of n is equal to n over two a sub one plus a sub n. Remember, you learned that when you, get, where, when you are getting the sum of n or the sum of 100 positive odd numbers, it will be equal to 100 over 2. n is 100 times a sub 1, the first odd. The first odd is 1 plus a sub n is a sub 100, the 100 or the last odd, which is 199, there, it will be giving us 50 times 200. 50 times 200 gives us 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, zeros. 5 times 2 is 10. You also get 10,000, which matches with this. There. So I've given you two different methods. Now, let's try problem number two. What is the sum of the first 200 positive even numbers? Letter A, 4,000. Letter B, 6,000. Letter C, 16,000. And letter D, 40,000. Oh, oh, I forgot to give them the correct answer here. So 10,000, we have letter D. So here, we will be considering here numbers from... 1, 2, 200 even to 400 because 1 to 400 will give us 200 even numbers and 200 odd numbers. If we try this, the first even is 2, the next one is 4, the next one is 6. The largest even is 400, and the next one here is 
398 and this is 396. If we add this, we will be getting a 402. You add this two again, you will be getting a 402 and so on and so forth. So, how many pairs will there be if we have 200? Uh, if we have 400? No, 200. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm sorry. How many pairs do we have again if we have 200 even numbered? So, we have 100 pairs. So, what do we get here? So, we have 40,200. There. 40,200. Let us try using the formula for S of N. So, S of N or S of 200 following this formula gives us 200 over 2 times the first even is 2 and the last even is 400. There. So we multiply 100 because 200 divided by 2 is 100. Multiply 100 by 400. 2, we get 40,200. Oh. Is the answer here A, B, C, D? No. Because the correct answer is 40,200. So in that case, if in the exam, you were given write E if the answer is not among, among the choices, then you write E or you say no answer. Next, I gave you here an exercise for you to solve. So we have here the problem, what is the sum of the first 400 positive odd numbers? The correct answer is 160,000. So it's a to you to choose whether you will use this method, which is just logic, or use the formula for the sum of the n terms of an arithmetic sequence. Okay. I hope I was of help. Before we end, you always have to remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Bye.